Son of a gun! Greetings. Well, we don't have much of a load again, but uh, we're going down into the heartland of business right now is Oklahoma, so at least we can uh, hopefully rely on something coming north. But it's dang hot down there by the sounds of it. Anybody that didn't see my last video, Go check it out. I busted out this window. Well, I didn't do it. Somebody busted it out. But take a look. We've got window action. That mess, she worked pretty good. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering, you know, why did the idiot use the vice grips? and the chip bag holder and a piece of mesh to drive all the way up there to Canada. Well, we try not to wonder what's going on in the idiot's head, but we'll try to give you a little bit of an insight. The thought being, if I had duct taped a piece of plastic or said mesh into the window, I don't know what the DOT is going to do, you know what I mean? They might say that that's, uh, you're, you're masking your visibility or something like that, know what I'm saying? That's what I was a little worried about. As well, if you go back and see, I screwed up, I was a little bit overweight, trying to be a little overzealous. Me and, uh, the folks that gave me the weight, but, uh... The old tummy just didn't feel right, right? So you got to listen to your inner talking sometimes. So the old spidey senses were tingling. Like, hey, I got her this far, but I think she's going to be tough, you know, taking her all the way. So I took some weight off there in Wyoming, and a good thing I did because I got inspected in Montana. <laughs> The old spidey senses kicked in and saved my day. Saved the day there. Sometimes the spidey senses saved the idiot from his own misfortunes, that's for sure. From his own doings. So a couple things are redacted here, so that's why we got some black on it. But, yeah. Conrad, Montana. Which is like the last one before the border. Going up into Canada. They were doing a hazardous assessment or a hazard materials inspection level well she did a full level two yeah it says level two so you know they walk around check lights the only thing they don't do is crawl underneath and check brake stroke check everything else the old rubber glove check the log book they check uh, your extinguishers your triangles you know you gotta dig all that stuff out but yeah there you go. Take a look. I don't know if we can read it right here. It's probably backwards. Anyway, it says no violations present. So. Fooled them again! <laughs> Darn orange truck, I tell you what. Alright, I just loaded some stuff in Calgary. We saw a short little bit there. Got found a light out this morning so that's always fun it's always something keep pressing buttons here to let everybody know that I'm going that I have uh, loaded my load and uh, we're ready to hit the highway Oklahoma and Wyoming again. Let's see what we can do here.
beautiful day. I was off for another nine days in a row there. Not too happy about that as anybody in the trucking industry would be. So I don't know what's going on, but the freight going south is struggling a little bit. Too many trucks. I think, anyway. Because right now I got a whopping uh, 12,000 pounds. And I think uh, all the trucks went out. Everybody was all under 20,000 pounds, so they're they're moving the freight around, but I don't know what's going on, because I see trucks going south that are full, so I don't know what's going on. LTL trucks, too. Our competition, they're all full up. I don't know. I kind of like to hope that we're sticking to our guns and keeping our prices up, so that's why people are trying some of the cheaper people. That's why our customers might be trying some of the cheaper people, I'm hoping. And if that's the case, I'm all for it. Like I've said before, if you're not going to make your money on the front end with the uh, revenue on your load, then uh, we'll make it on the back end on saving fuel. Like I said, I was off for, I guess, about nine days. I was able to get a lot, a lot of stuff done at the Ponderosa. Naturally, when you move into a new piece of property that you've uh, bought, there's always stuff that's not up to snuff to what you want it to be. Lots of uh, lots of work. Nothing uh, too too costly. Nothing that about uh, ten tubes of caulking couldn't fix. You know what I mean? And some paint. I was gonna take the summer off if I had uh, a good spring, but after March she just just died right off in my neck of the woods anyway not neck of the woods but in my facet of the industry for us here anyway so blah 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 now, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by my left side of my brain I was trying to tell you that the whole reason I was using the vice grips and the chip bag closer and all that with the mesh was so I could take it down fast. Because I came around the corner and the lights were on for that scale house, which is never open. And of course, until I go through, well, that's when it opens up usually. I was able to. And I don't know how they're going to react to that mesh, right? They see that, like I said, they might say, uh, you're, you're 
uh, blocking your view or whatever, right? So I figured, well, if I go by them with the, the window down, then they wouldn't know anything. It wouldn't be the wiser, right? Until they asked where my uh, CVI sticker is, and I'd say, hey, it's right here. <laughs> oh, yeah, we had a little incident. <laughs> anyway. So when I got pulled into that scale, I was able to... Uh, as I'm turning the corner, I was able to pop all them off, all the vice grips off, drop that mesh down and put it beside me before I crossed the scale. So it just looked like I had my window down. So that was my thought process anyway. That's why I didn't want to tape it up or get plastic or anything to cover the window. Toughed her out, made it all the way up there and all the way home. It wasn't really any big a deal. I ordered a window at our neighborhood uh, Freightliner dealer in Red Deer. And I was planning on dropping the truck and having to be there for four or five days before they can fit you in. And they said, hey, we can get you in tomorrow if you want. I'm like, okay, how long do you think it usually takes for the window? Because I know it'll take me eight hours. Uh, I think our tech can bust it out in about three and I said deal so I dropped it off at about 11 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday they called me Wednesday at 2 o'clock said your truck's done what the hell Said, what's going on he says yeah we're a little slow right now <laughs> and yeah it only took it only charged me three hours money well spent money well spent well we made it here to harry town as per normal always beautiful sky pictures around here here's what i got Nothing, nothing, nothing too, too crazy. Just the usual. Then you go around, you do your post trip. We're gonna shut her down here for the day. We're gonna do our post trip. We're just noticing these tires. We got a little bit of cupping going on. So these tires are, uh, well, a little bit of blood. <laughs> these are almost three years old these tires these are the originals they are engineered by Cooper they're called Roadmaster so yeah but I was just checking everything out and then you kind of go hey wait a sec that rock looks a little funny it's not a rock it's a nail the good thing is we're still holding there, so. Always walk around and look for that stuff. All right, I used up all the deck. I'm going to be able to unload it as I go. A little easier to set up for unload so we're going to take this crate off in Casper that crate off in Casper and the other side we're going to take three pipe off in Casper so those three pipe there we're going to take off in Casper as well so that's good deliver some of it that's it pretty easy too easy that's all I got so we'll uh, 
Here we see some of the unloading, see the big units that unload me and watch uh, fat hairy Canadians sweat it out in Oklahoma when it's uh, in the high 90s and 38 degrees Celsius, that sort of stuff. So stay tuned and uh, we'll see you down the road. Bye for now.